Autobots, more than meets the eye. Autobots waits their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that allows me to do exactly that. Round up everything that's happened in the week of the YouTube channel that you're watching right now, Toys R Us. My Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. And of course, everything else that's happening in the world of Transformers. Which at the moment, as I'm sure we'll agree, is a pretty exciting time. So what I'm going to be covering this week is some of the new toys. I've got some new pictures. So not just the normal figures that we've seen, like the Kingdom. We've obviously got new Masterpiece skids to look forward to. Um, I've got a few of the old bits of merchandise and memorabilia, which I know people like to see. Like I've got some more of the sticker album. I've got a full wraparound comic cover. I've got a few things to discuss with you as well. And of course, let you know things that are coming up with the channel. And exactly that, as I say, just round everything up and let's, let's get straight off then. So first and foremost, I said it very briefly on the quick sneak peek of the Dinobots that we saw that I think at the moment, I'm sure we'll all agree, our wallets, our bank accounts, and for whatever other reasons we can think of an excuse, they won't agree, but it's a great time to be a Transformers fan at the moment. No matter what genre you're in, what you're liking, you know, Kingdom is covering everything. It's covering your G1 stuff that I love. I've been really honest, the Beast Wars stuff, it's not really floating my boat at the moment, but some people are going crazy for it, and rightly so. The figures look amazing. We've got new Masterpiece figures coming out. It's just, we've got new Studio Series 60, 86 coming out. It's just a brilliant, brilliant time. It's a bit of a Transformers fan, and I think everybody, myself included, you know, it's great, it's, it's great to be a big kid again, isn't it? So I've just got a couple of pictures for you. I'm not going to show you the ones that I've already done videos. We've got videos of the Ark. We've seen loads of pictures of that. Teletron 1, Rodimus Prime and all that sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> one of the ones that I've missed out and not shown you a picture of yet. And again, these are pictures that you can get online. And in fact, you can even pre-order these figures already. But it's the ones that I'm really excited about. And that is Trax. And I know everybody's already talking that they need to put a bit of yellow on that and i'm sure they will but i mean this is it's so funny and it's so uncanny when i did um some of the comparison videos not so long ago everybody was like we need a tracks we need a tracks and then lo and behold there he is okay i've mentioned that these aren't exactly for me but i've still got to show him rhinox because he looks fantastic um i've got the thrilling 30 version of him he looks pretty good um it's looking like a better updated version of that um, but the Wayne ones that I haven't really shown you <clears throat> from the Kingdom line that I am excited about. I'm already I was definitely excited about Galvatron, Rodimus Prime, the Ark, Teletran. Um, but the other two I wanted to show you was Trax and this guy. Where did they pull this from? I don't even collect really the, the core class figures. I've got a few of them. But I just think that this guy, and especially the fact that obviously he goes into a little tape deck. So you know... I suppose it'd be brilliant for scenes, don't it? You know, when they call it, what is it? When they call it the transpondency or the trip, where they, where they change size from being huge to tiny. This is going to be brilliant. This little one, you'll be able to put this, set this up with loads of different scenes. Detail on it's fantastic. It's so intricate. It's brilliant. Really like it. One other thing that I want to quickly, oh no, let's do quick. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word slag because I think they've actually managed to get the name rights back for that. So I think, you know, the new Dinobots, the fact that we're going to have Grimlock and slag and of course we're, we're gonna i can't see why we're not going to get sludge and sweep from the studio series 86 i suppose the big argument or the big discussion point might be snarl but of course if you think about it cyclonus was released under the kingdom line even though he's brilliant he fits straight into the studio series 86 figures there's no reason why they couldn't release snarl as part of another toy line whatever they're doing at the time so i, I genuinely do think that we're going to get all all five of the dinobots and the fact that their leader class is brilliant because it's about time they scaled much much bigger because that's what they deserve to be one last thing to show you quickly is of course masterpiece skids and again lots of people funnily enough are excited about this i'll just scroll for a few pictures of him is it going to work with me leaning over or is this not going to oh, of course it's not i've got to swipe haven't i so he's looking really really good very very g1-esque of course, 100% posable. The weapons are still the same. The detail's fantastic. I like the fact that you can do that. You can put the little figures inside. Get your Daniel, get your Spike, etc. Pop them in. And then, of course, we're getting the other one. The retool. Not the retool, sorry. The redeco as well of his Diaclone one. So there you go. 
lots and lots to see and lots to be excited with at the moment with new figures so i just wanted to share that with you guys another thing i want to remind you of is i'm going to go fully live for the first time so i'm really nervous because it's i probably messed it up i hope i don't but may the 1st 10 p.m uk time and i'm going to go on for like a good three hours or so so i'll go to 1 a.m my time which will definitely take me to at least uh, i think it takes me past 7 8 8 p.m eastern time but i'll 100 percent clarify the times next week so i can let you know we've got two weeks and a few days before that's going to happen so i'll be able to to let you know exactly about that but i'm going to do that may the first i've had lots of people requesting i think it's going to be sort of a bit like a show and tell that sort of seems to be the same i suppose the premise that everybody wants that people want to see i'll be able to do that obviously people say can you show me this figure i'll be able to do that fingers crossed and we can make it a bit of fun a bit of interaction you can ask me some questions etc um yeah that's going to be really really good something else to tell you that well something else to show you first and i suppose it's in a way just to give you a bit more of information that i do do this is by the way this is marvel uk transformers comic this is issue 300 so i'm actually nowhere near this in putting these on my channel but for those of you who don't know or for those of you who do see it on the channel and quite frankly understandably aren't very interested what i actually do is it's not a super detailed thing. I will literally spend no more than like a minute and a half max just going cover to cover. We'll flick through. If there's anything interesting, like obviously this has got a wraparound cover, so I'd show quite a bit of that. But it's just a minute and a half. If you just want to see the review, brilliant. And then um, afterwards, then I come back and go nice and slow over all the text so you can read it. So just for those of you who are a bit unsure and thought, oh, I don't want to watch a six minute review of a comic. It's not that long at all. The reviews, you know, two minutes and under the rest of the time is me going nice and slow over all of the comics. So that's a lovely wraparound cover we've seen there. Just wanted to show that with you because I'm nowhere near issue 300. I'm on about issue 48 now, I think. The other thing I've been doing is this is the sticker book. Again, people are loving this. I'm getting loads of messages and they like the fact that I just... I say pause as well. Apparently it's quite amusing. So just another quick four pages. For those of you who don't know, this is the original Generation 1 sticker book. And what it does every four pages, it covers a Generation 1 episode. So before we start, though, we're going to have a look at Megatron. And the episode in question this time is War of the Dinobots. So there is page one. If you would like to pause... There is page two. Ooh, poor sticker book. If I come back, there you go. Pause. You may even recognise the episode. That's the problem with the weight of these. Let's get this fully in screen for you. Brilliant. And then, is that it? Yep, that is it. That is literally the four pages. So that covered all of that episode right one more thing let's show you something else and this is a, a discussion as well that i want to sort of talk about as well because um i know that people were talking about it on transformers the show i know that people were talking about it i think we were talking about it on kato's with ultra marcus the other day and it is the fact that these catalogs and flyers that you know we used to have them in abundance in every single figure sorry and everybody jokes you know these are the figures that we all wanted but couldn't have so what i've been trying to do is trying to find perhaps the oldest one and then maybe I can't pinpoint exactly where it was that they stopped making them. So maybe you guys can help with that. So what I've got here is, and I'm sorry it's a bay verse, but this is the last or latest, shall we say, comic, not comic, catalogue that I found for figures. So I've got a Revenge of the Fallen fold out, I suppose, mini catalogue. So obviously we're talking 2009 here. Um, I've got the Transformers Prime toy range pretty much here i don't recall them having catalogs in there they may have done but most of mine are still sealed so this is a revenge of the fallen one so this was 2009 and i suppose just for a bit of trivia just a so i can see if i can start to collect them all in order when they stop doing them now the earliest one that i've got and this is a bit of a cheat because this isn't even transformers this is a diaclone one um that came with some of my japanese figures so this is obviously pre-transformers so this is going to be very very early 80s this is really interesting because funnily enough there you've got the autobot cars all in their different colors funnily enough there's the red skids there which is going to be the new masterpiece as well i've just had a complete memory blank with his name but it'll come to me in a second but there's the rest of the autobot cars they're of course the omnibots but in different colors um 
yeah there's the jump starters again different colors there's the dinobots so as i say this is pre-transformer so this has got to be one of the first that we've seen and then on the back very interestingly we've got the constructor cons but again with their different colors so look at that Ooh, look at that for devastator and there's raiden but with all the different color trains again and then of course look we've got some more figures there's the insecticons all different colors so i think this is definitely the earliest one or example shall we say that i've got um where are we reboost there it is reboost that i had to cheat i'm sorry i cheated i had to find his name out it was driving me insane so that's the oldest and that's the newest so if we can find out i'm going to start see if i can get and again the purpose of this channel is to catalog as much as i can for you guys whether it's variants of figures i'm doing books people are liking the fact that i'm doing books and guide books and i've done a few flyers so i'm going to start doing more of them and again we can catalog all these we can all have a look at them because some of the um flyers some of the catalogs are brilliant they've got so many areas in them they've got test charts they've got obviously astro trains were wrong bruticus is missing heads i'm going to do loads of videos and all this again just to catalog as much as i can for you guys so there's that um i think that pretty much covers everything that's sort of happened in them in the well no i need to i need to be dead honest i've um i've been back in work since monday i'm going to get me haircut tomorrow um but yeah so that means obviously i'm earning again and i've already got something underway i mentioned that i've got things here there and everywhere i literally have it's it's i'm so excited i hope you guys are going to be the same um but i've got something literally in transit right now coming from the netherlands it's a nice little sage version version again of some another popular figure that most you'll all have seen the figure but that is literally in transit so fingers crossed i'll have that for this monday coming and then i think what i'll do again just because i'm at work and i'm trying to fit people in right by work rather than doing a japanese figure of the week next week i will do i'll do an unboxing on the monday so things to look forward to with the channel is that's going to be coming it should be here by then um for tonight's video i've actually got around to doing this guy he's brilliant i'm going to be putting huffer up so good comparisons with the original i've got the combiner wars version as well of course the japanese figure of the week we've already mentioned is hydra um there he is on this side but what i'm going to be doing as well is because i'm not going to be doing a japanese figure of the week next week i'll do a bonus i'll do a double video so i'll do the hydra video and then although it's the same i'm going to do an actual dark wings which is of course the gift set i'll do that as a bonus video and i'll stick them both up so i'll stick the hydra one on friday and i'll stick the dark wings up on sunday just as i suppose as a mini apology for not doing a japanese figure next week um i've also got um, some funny ideas for everybody's been doing obviously the new studio series for 86 i'm going to get all the original cast in the in the in the figures and i'm going to set all them out in a collection so we can see them all in the g1 self with a different packaging that i've got so that's going to be coming up um, and again love them or hate them i keep getting asked so i'm going to do um, another movie figure and it's really really funny because i've realized that this poor guy whether he's Bayverse or whether he's G1, he's not liked, is he? He's, he's, a, he's a pain in the bum and he can be. So I'm going to do a wheelie video for the newer, for the younger fans, just to remember him. Um, yeah, loads of stuff's coming up. So fingers crossed um, this figure gets here for Monday. But there you go. So yeah, keep your comments, keep everything coming in. I'm really enjoying this. I'm definitely going to keep it going. It might just mean that... I might not be able to get, I'm going to try and still get a video out every day, definitely for you guys, um, get a bit of a head start, etc. But I'm, like the Japanese figure of the week, like I've just said, I'm going to definitely not have time next week. But help me out with these, let me know the flyers, let me know which ones you've got, um, and I'll start cataloguing them on my channel, mini reviews and pictures exactly, so we can all have a look at the things that have been released, I suppose, over the years. We can catalogue everything as well ourselves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's about covered it. You've listened to me waffle on for long enough. Um, if you wonder what the AF is, stands for any time fitness, it's the gym. It's not that I'm lying about my name. And, <laughs> you know, the football coaches have their initials on. That's just the name of the gym that I'm at. So that's just in case I get a question asked about that. And, it'll, and now I'll know if anybody's watched this to the very end as well. So thanks for all your help. You're all, you know, your comments, your feedback, etc. Really looking forward to going live in a couple of weeks time. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.